There's one thing I really haven't discussed yet about this new rig. When it arrived at the Airstream dealership, it had a crack in the exterior panel up here. So I'm not in a rush to do any of this because they're, the panel guy at the dealership couldn't get to it right away. So uh, I'm taking my time doing all these things. And then I'm going to start removing some of this interior skin here. And then he, the panel guy, Jeremy is his name, he's going to fix the exterior panel. So he's going to replace it. You could do a patch, you could do, um, he could replace it without removing this inside wall, but because it is a relatively easy thing to remove inside here, I'm going to go ahead and get all that done and I can just stick it back in his, his part of the garage. It takes him about a day to uh, load it back up, then I can put this panel back in, I can carry on my merry way. So. Right, the sun is out today and I have a chance to kind of show you what was done on the panel repair of this trailer. What was determined that happened was when the, uh, the rock guard here, so this is stainless steel rock guard in front of your aluminum corner panel. When it was attached here, there's screws all the way down and it was stretched across to put the three mounting blocks on it. It was stretched a little too tight particularly in this one right here. So this one was pulled too tight, meaning the, the rock guard was pulled this way too tight on this. And it, as it drove, drove across country from the factory, that vibrations caused it to give way here on the corner panel. These other two were okay, but we replaced the entire corner panel. Well, Airstream, the dealership, Jeremy's his name, replaced the corner panel. And in a previous video, you heard me mention that I had a panel replaced. So in our old 30-foot trailer, we had the entire side, the lower half of this entire side, plus that rear corner panel, replaced on the old one. This is not something we did. This is not an insurance job. This happened all before we even purchased the rig. I believe when it got delivered to the factory, or delivered to that dealership from the factory, either loading or unloading or in transport somewhere, there was a dent and it covered the seam. So the, the side corner panel, the side panel seam to the corner panel seam. So this like right here, but on the rear, it was dented about that far across. So they replaced both panels. To do a proper buck rivet replacement panel, you have to remove the inside wall, meaning the inside skin, aluminum skin on the inside and all the furniture. That is a very time consuming, very difficult process to do. What he used at the old trailer was Olympic rivets. Now, some of them come with this little rubber washer on the back side of it. And when they put the rivet against the skin and tighten it down, it tightens against that rubber washer. Over time, that rubber washer deteriorates and then you have a gap between the, ru the rivet and the wall. Therefore, on many of the rivets on this side panel in our old trailer, after the repair, and after about a year or so, I was able to get my fingernail between the rivet and the, and the exterior skin. Not really happy about that. Uh, had a couple of those fixed, which is a relatively minor process to do. But I was always worried about water seeping in and things like that. So that's why I was unhappy with that. So I've got this little demonstration panel here to show you what uh, different rivets look like. So here is a buck rivet from the factory and you can see the back side of those what they look like after they're uh, done. These are all Olympic rivets. You can see the one with the washer on the back and this one has a washer on the back. This is not shaved down yet. This one has a washer on the back and is shaved down and you can see what a little bit of a gap so I can get my thumbnail under there and under here. If anybody's doing Olympic rivets, I always recommend they remove the washer and use a silicone, uh, a little goop of silicone and put it in the hole. And then when you're done with it, you don't have that little gap. So you can see from here to this one. So this one has a washer on it. This one has a washer removed, how much smoother that is. But this is my little rivet demonstration panel. Some of the rubber, so the sealant, from the overlap of the two things, it kind of puffed out and stuck out some. It just wasn't, uh, it, didn't, it wasn't up to Brad's standard, if you will. 
So this panel is fantastic. This is not Olympic rivets. This was original buck rivets because of I already had the furniture out inside and I removed the interior skin. And I, I don't have a video of me removing that, unfortunately. I wish you could see what it looks like because you could see all the insulation and the wiring for the for the side marker light here and the wiring coming up to the outlet that's inside there. But I don't know what happened to that footage, but it's gone. Anyway, I removed the interior skin. So all Jeremy had to do, I could take it over there, drop it off, have him fix it. It took him a half a day to fix it. I had to let it, the sealant cure overnight and I was able to pick it up the next day and put the wall back in and continue on with my journey of putting the battery and all that stuff in the front. One thing I lost was the VIN, VIN sticker here and the weight sticker here. I still have it. It's just a piece of cut aluminum now. Uh, I didn't put that sticker back on. I took all the exterior stickers off this rig because I think they're gaudy and I don't like stickers on my rig. So I put them on the door, but all the propane stickers and the weight tire pressure stickers and all those things like that, I just I had all those removed. While he was fixing this panel, we just looked at the other side, the, the rock guard on the other side, and I said, well, while you're doing things, let's go ahead and we adjusted the brackets, the mounting brackets on the other side. Let's go check those out. All right, so right here, you can see three extra what looks like rivets right here. And they are where this, so the ones right beside it, that's where that used to be. So this bracket used to be maybe a quarter inch back this way. Same with the one down there, same with the one up front. So we drilled out the rivets from the old one, put move the bracket slightly forward so it relieves some of the pressure on here. So now when I open up my rock guard i have more flexibility and it's not as hard to get back on if you've ever removed you know opened up your rock guards to clean behind them sometimes you notice that they're very very you got to like pull on them to get them back around the bolt there i don't have to do that with these anymore and it relieves some pressure because i don't want that to crack so that was replacing the panel if you ever have to have a panel replaced on your rig the biggest thing I can tell you to do is find a five rivet dealer. Uh, there are a number of them across the country, so that means they have great customer satisfaction and service and sales and all around from the community. Um, and then if you can talk to the panel person who's doing the repair, go talk to them and have a conversation about how do they do the rivets, how do they drill them out. You know, if they have something there that they might be able to show you work they've already done. Because typically... The panel replacements take weeks and months, particularly when they have to take all the furniture out. Mine was pretty fast because I had already removed all the furniture and removed everything up front. So it was just a quick and out, in and out job. Um, so I'm happy with this. Happy with the panel repair overall. And I'm very grateful to Jeremy at Airstream of Utah uh, for your work. Thank you very much. <laughs>